What's happening, guys? Thank you for tuning in to the Kevin Carhee Show. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the show. Salute, salute, guys. Welcome back to the show, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Shout out to the free crowd. Please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Man, I appreciate that. How to master the art of getting women. Now, guys, I really thought this was a corny video to make, but the more I read the comments, the more cats inbox me, the more I, 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 uh, I go back and forth with different guys in the group, man. You would think guys in their later years would understand certain concepts, but it seems like dudes be all over the place when it comes to getting women. What most men don't understand about women is when a woman puts herself back out there on the market, men will be lined up around the corner. It will be a pool of guys waiting for that particular woman. And women close at a 80% rate. All the way up at 80%. That means out of that pool of guys, and we'll say at, 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 that's a starting off with 100, she's closing 80% out of 100. Y'all want to know what a man's close rate is? And this is if the guy is a savvy guy. He is what, in general, women say uh, that's handsome, that's successful, that's uh, popular. Even those guys are only closing way down there at 20%. At 20%. See, what most guys do is they play the numbers game. The number game is when a guy talks to a whole bunch of women in hopes that he will get one or two. And keep in mind, this is if uh, he's a certain type of archetype that unlocks that particular woman. If he is her archetype. Now, the next thing most men don't understand that if you are his archetype, or excuse me, are her archetype, and what I mean by archetype, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it means that if that woman is going to talk to a, a particular man, if she's attracted to a particular man, the archetype is maybe he's a charismatic guy, maybe he's a street guy, maybe he's a nerd guy, whatever type of man that that woman is attracted to, that's her archetype. Just like your woman, some men like big, beautiful women, some men like petite women, that is your archetype. That is the type of woman that you're most likely going to show interest in. Even with those factors out there, guys, uh, and there's some things that you can control. Even if you are her archetype and you are the basic, you're well-groomed, you keep yourself clean, um, you know, smell good. Even with those things, you have a little bit of money in your pocket. You don't have to be rich, but you do have a little money in your pocket. Even with those things, guys, the one thing you cannot control is timing. Timing is everything when it comes to meeting women. It's everything. If the, if the woman you're trying to approach... Is fresh in a, is in a relationship, your chances is low. If she's heartbroken, your chances is low. If maybe she just lost a loved one, your chances are going to be low. That's a, that that can be a lot of things in her life that's causing her stress. She could even be blissfully in love and in the euphoric period, and it's heavy and it's heavy on her mind, and she's blossoming. And she's doing all those things. She's just head over heels in love. That's bad timing, guys. Even if you cold approach a woman, the woman can give you, well, excuse me, even if you're not cold approaching a woman and you're using choosing signal, the woman can give off a choosing signal and be attracted to you. But if her life is a mess, that's bad timing, guys. Now, if she caught a man cheating, if she's been single for a while, if she's looking to leave a relationship, she out just wanting to have sex with a man she's attracted to, she's looking to use you as a bridge for the next relationship, 
then you'll be able to gain attention and interest from that woman and she'll move forward or she'll look to move forward either to sleep with you or to start a relationship the door will be open timing is about whether or not the door is open or closed every woman door will be open at some point in time now some doors open quickly and it closes maybe she's going through some stuff with a boyfriend husband her door open and it closed don't never let it fool you guys no matter what a, what a woman say it will open and close she can be uh uh, uh. and and if you and if you're the archetype you're her archetype you can walk right in as soon as it open guys if you there at the right time it doesn't matter if she's happily married doesn't matter if she's single doesn't matter if she's pregnant don't matter if she's in a relationship when the door comes open you can walk in some stay open longer than others but if you're there you will be able to enter if you are her archetype just like and, and guys once it open and you walk in then just like her door was closed for you because it was bad time it'll be closed for other men as soon as you walk in nothing another man can do nothing he can say will open her door her door is closed that's why you'll hear women say oh i'm loyal i'm honest that's because yes she will be loyal she will be honest if her door is closed she will be loyal she will be honest if her door is closed but what women can't predict is when the door will come open and remember what i said all women doors open at some point in time doesn't matter if they're married to you doesn't matter if you're in a relationship doesn't matter if she say she love you to death her door will come open at some point in time because of this open door effect that's how women are happily married but they end up with a child outside of their marriage outside that's a illegitimate child you know that's when you have oh we broke up for two days and i got pregnant see that's when that type of stuff happened so timing is everything guys have you ever noticed when you inbox a woman she'll give you a half-hearted response if a response at all then four months later she'll out of nowhere text you or she'll like some of your pictures that's because her door was closed at the time now it's open then she'll start giving you the rundown about, oh, I was in a relationship. Now, they won't tell you this, that, well, I was just waiting. I was chasing this guy, and now he's married on me, or he's in a relationship on me. So now I'm done with that. They won't tell you that. But for the most part, they'll go, well, I was going through some stuff, uh, uh, but I'm over that now. That means her door was closed at the time. And see, guys, a lot of time, when, especially when you play the numbers game, you think that a woman is not attracted to you or you think you inbox and she don't inbox you back. It's not that. You just have to know the timing, guys. Bad timing. You Sometimes you may think she's being shady. Just mean her door was closed. Another thing, guys, have you ever met... Excuse me. I ain't gonna say that. Have you ever... Approach five or four or five women and you close all four or five women. And then at other time, it seems like you couldn't close one. That goes back to what I've been telling you the whole time. It was time. See, the only problem with that, guys, is that if you keep missing, you might start to think that it's something wrong with you and start second guessing yourself. And nothing, most of the time, guys, it's nothing wrong with you. It's just your timing is off. If you're playing the numbers game, your timing and archetype has to match up, which means you have to be her type 
and the timing has to be right. Now, some guys will say that you need to wait on choosing signal, but I've done both of them, guys. And some guys help in. Look, just because a woman sends you choosing signal, that doesn't mean you're going to close on it. It doesn't mean you're going to close on it. I'm telling you right now. Because a woman can sue you, uh, send you choosing signal and she can re reject you at the same time. Maybe she's in a new relationship and she's a flirty woman. She just wants, because women always like attention. She just want to get some more attention. And so she'll flirt with you. You think she's giving you choosing signal. You'll come over and then she'll politely reject you. Her door will be closed to sex and a relationship. Now, guys, when she don't respond, this is another thing. I'm going to say this. Uh, the one thing you can't do whenever you shoot your shot at a woman, you send a message to her inbox or whatever you may do, or you do it in person. Well, we just keep it in the inbox. You can't be disrespectful, guys, because that kills your chances for later on down the road. If you do send a message, wait three to four months before you send another message and never, ever send a third message. Never send a third message, guys. A year from now, when she's lonely or uh, 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 she's out of her relationship, she's strolling through her messages and she see you, you're her type, she's going to text you or message you back or she's going to like some of your pictures, one or two. That's what she's going to do. She's going to contact you some kind of way. But do not repeatedly keep messaging her or she will lose respect for you. Remember, feelings change. Attractions change. Emotions change. Time change. People change. All you have to do is wait for the change. Keep going on with your life. Keep that abundance mindset, guys. Keep going on with your life and keep that abundance mindset. Always remember that a woman has attention 24 hours, 7 days a week. When they're feeling low on attention, they're feeling lonely, all they have to do is go to their inbox and it's always a sucker in there somewhere. It's always. When they need new attention, then they just start posting pictures on the internet. Start posting pictures to their page and they'll get new attention. No matter what men say, men are always trying to compete with other men. They're always trying to outdo the other guy because there are a lot of men that are pursuing the woman that you want. Make no mistake about it. There's always lots of guys. And what you have to do is put yourself above those guys just put yourself above and look women will always go for the most valuable guys you have to make yourself be the most valuable guy take for instance if a guy if a guy would take a woman out that he deems the one that he's like and he's pursuing her. He'll take her out. He'll buy an expensive meal. Spend money on her. Things of that nature. And you come along. And you buy her a regular meal. You don't spend no money on her. Uh, you barely even text her. And you explain to her that you're a busy man. And that you know. You don't have time to do a whole lot of texting, but you would like to get to know her. Now she will hit you. Oh, we gotta get to know you. Gotta we gotta communicate all that. But I'm gonna tell you right now, guys, that's gonna work more in your favor than trying to prove yourself. Because once you start trying to prove yourself, then you're automatically gonna deem yourself as being less valuable. And women will always pick the more valuable guy over the guy with the most money period now she'll go and be with the guy with the most money and let him support her but you talk about you the the most valuable guy will unlock the freak in that woman period 
She will do things with you that she's not going to do with the other guy, even if he has the most money. Because she still don't deem him valuable. She sees him as a sucker. And that's just how the game go. Shout out to the free crowd, guys. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Leave a comment. And until next time, peace.